it's time for the daily Pokemon Go. Pokestop and catching a Pokemon. I have my phone on the left and Johnny's phone on the right. He's with his dad today, so I'm keeping up with him. I do sometimes play the boys game when uh, they're not with me. They put in an interesting new update this week for um, gyms. I've yet to give that a try. I'm at level 30, so I am eligible to play that. Um, goodness, my aim's not too good here this morning. Actually, afternoon. Sunday is off to a slow start. But now I'm all good with keeping up our streaks. Now I'll keep up in town to see if anything that we don't have pops, but normally not for us since we're at such a high level. And there we go. Since I'm out and about to do a little additional research on Auto Park, I thought I'd stop by Home Depot and check out the flowers. sufficiently wilted after standing out there in the sun for about 30 minutes taking flower pictures at Home Depot but I got some pretty cool stuff including a Tawny Emperor butterfly a uh, dragonfly that I think is a pond skimmer but I'll have to look it up and um, some really good flower shots so it was worth uh, worth going up there for Hi, it's Don, and it's <laughs> Tesla time, sitting in the back of the Model X with a bunch of crazy people. That would be my wife, my stepson, and my other stepson. So, uh, we have the six seat configuration with console, and I am six feet tall. Joey, how tall are you? Five foot ten. Five foot ten. I weigh 205 pounds. Joey, how much do you weigh? About 190. About 190. All right. So. The seats right now in the middle row are back at uh, where they normally are, which is pretty much all the way back. Uh, the six seat with console, you can still put your foot between the console and the seat. No problem at all. There's my big toe up front. So you can still stretch out one leg. We have no trouble here stretching out one you leg. You too, Joey, huh? Yeah, yeah, not a problem. You okay. can do that. You could easily put one foot flat on the floor behind the console the console is uh, recessed so you got room there and I have enough room over on this other side I could put my foot but that wouldn't be any different with or without the console the foot my right foot in this case is no different with or without the console now um, I could I'm comfortable I could ride this way I have enough headroom I'm not slouching uh, I could ride like this for quite a while now would I want to go cross-country uh, with him no <laughs> Nowhere in the car would that work. But anyway, it certainly wouldn't work in the back seat. So, but uh, I'm just simply saying the console does not take all the leg room because Joey is either going to put both his legs up. Th if the console was not there, I'm either going to put both my feet and he's going to have to suck it up, or he's going to put both his feet and have to suck it up, or one of us would put each one foot up there. So, I'm saying that with the six seat with console, you can still put each 
back seat passenger still has the ability to put stretch one leg out completely and share the space in the middle. Yeah, I'd say you guys are a comfortable, close fit back there. You'd rather be snuggled up back there with me, but, you know, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to be back here with your best girl. That's right. But, uh, so let me um, get a little bit of different angle at you guys. So, we let Joey out, and I wanted to let you see how Don fits in. He's, you know, making himself comfortable. It's just how he was sitting with Joey. Right. His foot down here, let me make sure the exposure, you can see the console is curved like Don had mentioned. Uh, there's plenty of room for your foot to go behind it or the other side between the seat or in between the console and the seat on his side. So people with long legs, they really can still adequately stretch their legs out. I would say it's not a problem at all. And, um, of course, this doesn't affect, the console doesn't affect this, but like Don said, he's six foot and he's got plenty of headroom. His head is not touching the glass and he's not slouched. Right. And he does have room on the other side to stretch his leg out. And I'll go get a view from, uh, of that from the other side, too. Right. And if, I was going to say, and of course, if you really wanted to recline, you can do this. Have the one seat up. Yeah. This is very comfortable. <laughs> so there is plenty of leg room here. You know, Don's knees not hitting. Yeah, but I can't straighten my I cannot I cannot get my leg with the seat where it is. I can't get my leg straight. But that again has nothing to do with the sixth seat with console. The console has nothing to do with where this seat is. Right. That's going to be the problem if you get six seat with console or without. So that Guess what time it is? It's Tesla time. Johnny, what time is it? It's Tesla time! That's right. So, if we were taking a family trip with all four of us in the car, of course, Joey and Johnny would both be in the second row. And I just wanted to give you a picture of their comfort level with the console. You know, it provides a nice armrest for them. They've got a place for their drinks that they're happy about. I personally like, what did that other YouTuber call it today, Donnie? The uh, demilitarized zone between the kids. Yeah, it acts as a little bit of a blockage between the kids, and I think that's probably a good thing. Hey, you two, we're on film, for goodness sake. Video. Video, that's right, video. So, anyway, you can get a picture of what the console looks like with people in the car. Joey's leg room. Johnny, I didn't want that out. Don't, don't try to help me. <laughs> really Joey's leg room Johnny's leg room now I'm gonna shut Joey's door he's thrilled <laughs> you're looking good there buddy you're styling Joey prefers to ride up front next to mom on the way to school and let Johnny have the second row to himself but yep any point he's pretty snug in there there's Johnny he's pretty snug in there so I think we're looking good I think we like in the center console guys sure. Yippee! yeah I think we're liking it we don't have any regrets about it uh, about choosing that configuration thanks for watching so this week we drove 397 and a half miles and used 153.7 kilowatts of energy which includes some time uh, at, spent at a supercharger so all the miles this week were not uh, did not come from our home charger um, basically this week if you uh, the total miles divided by the kilowatts comes out to 2.71 cents per mile if you look at what it actually cost us at home we used 154 kilowatts of electricity um, and that's also the 2.7 it just worked out that way but uh, the electricity cost that we actually paid to the power company this week was $10.78.
If we would have had an ICE car to go the same 397 miles, we would have spent $32.60 in gas. So the difference between the $32 and the $10.78 is $21.82 was our savings this week by driving a Tesla. Hi, it's Don. <laughs> Tesla time. It's Tesla time. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, Joey. <laughs> you remember? Silent. <laughs>